Hi, and welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I want to show you a very cool piece of little software called Flight Share. Now normally, if you're in the Piper Arrow, you would not be able to do a glide slope ILS automatic pilot landing. But this little piece of software will let you do that, as well as a whole bunch of other things. Over here we've got Sydney and we've got Bankstown Airport and if we click between the two airports it will show us the alignment for the runway so we can actually choose up here which one way we want for instance and it will show us the alignment for that runway. But what we're going to do is we're going to choose Bankstown Airport and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a plan to get all the way down to the runway. So if we click over here on the word create it's going to set up a whole bunch of waypoints for us automatically all the way down to the runway. So from 4, 600 down to 3 down to 2, down to 1, down to 500, down to 79. Now of course once we think we're close enough we can turn off the autopilot and take back manual control. But normally in a Piper Arrow you would not be able to do this, not with an automatic autopilot. So if that has put you off with this plane in purchasing it, you might find this little piece of software very helpful and not just with this plane but with many planes in the game. We'll zoom out and we'll show you the little plan that it's made. So we're over here. We can adjust the uh, waypoints. And it's going to travel 3.9 miles to here and then it's going to begin a descent down towards the runway. Now you can adjust these, you can drag them as you can see to wherever you, you want and the plane will adjust as well. Um, you can follow your plane. It also has a multiplayer function where you can actually see what other players are doing on the world map and find them in game as well. But here's our plane at the moment. So we're just going to show you the ILS style landing. But of course in my plane, if I can just show you, I haven't enabled uh, anything here. It's done all that work for me. So I haven't had to hit any of these switches. It's doing that for me by using this software. So it takes away a little bit of the difficulty in navigating the commands, but it's also letting you do something that you couldn't normally do because the Piper Arrow can't do an automatic glide slope landing. So we're going to see it now do the descent all automatically by itself. So we can see up here waypoint is now active, 3.6 nautical miles. It's going to begin the descent. So if we have a look at our altitude up here, it says 4442. If we jump inside our plane, we can see that we are descending. We can see it's on the down slope here and we can see it's going down over here. What I'm going to do is just help it a little bit. It's going to bring back the mixture to around about 75. I'm just going to bring that throttle back to around about 75 as well. So we'll just help it out a little bit there. And then we'll just jump back to our external view. So we're just going to watch it. You can see how well it does. We're not going to that runway over there, although that is Sydney International Airport. We're going to Bankstown Airport, which is off to our left. So it's going to turn left all automatically for us and uh, line us up. Now, once you're ready and you want to take over and do the manual landing, you can still do that. But this is going to get us very, very close. We can see we're descending at 229 feet or 300 feet per minute. Now, you can also bring up information for any airport that is on the map, and you can see the information for that runway. So like this runway here, and then you can choose uh, different runways, and you can see which direction that runway goes in. But we'll just go back to this one and we can see all the different runway options here. Twenty nine left and twenty nine C are two options that we've got here. And if we zoom in, we might be able to work out which one it's chosen. So I believe it's choosing the right one. So we'll go back to 29R and it should be on the path for the one it chose. But you can change that if you want by just clicking one button up here. You can remove them all by clicking your remove all and then just click create again. 
I just want to show you how well uh, this little piece of software can get you lined up for a landing. Now of course you can do it manually, you can hand fly it in and that's really really cool to do with this plane, it works really well. So, but there's just times when you need to run away from the computer or you have something else to do or you're just playing this for a game, you're not necessarily looking to do this as your job. Just want to have some fun. Maybe you have a friend over and you just want to show them. This little piece of software is very, very useful. Very, very cool, but it shows you where you are on the map in relation to the airport. You can get all the information about the airport as far as runway codes. You can see the elevation of the airport. And you can adjust it on the fly. Like you can just drag the waypoints to where you want the plane to go. So very very handy little piece of software and this is not the only thing it can do, it can do quite a few other things but I really just want to bring your attention to the fact that it can do this landing. It has a multiplayer ability where you can see other people on a world map and other players, so if I click here on golf you can see there's a bunch of other players on here If you like this software, you can certainly um, help out the developer. But I think the first step is just to get people to know about this piece of software and uh, see if it's something that interests you. I think it's very, very cool piece of software. You can get the latitude and longitude for any location on the map. And then you can copy that straight into Google Maps or Google Earth and it'll take you straight to that location that's compatible. You can also do a teleport command and you can choose the altitude and speed that you're going to teleport to. So at the moment we can see we're fairly centered on this. We're coming in around... Well our current altitude is 1700 and it's descending down to 1100. So it's doing all this descending by itself. We're not actually having to do that. We're in a Piper Arrow. Uh, this this plane cannot do glide slope landing, you say. Um, okay. I think it is. Very, very cool piece of little software here. And I'll just show you how well lined up we can get with the runway. Now, at some point, we're going to turn it off. But we can see our speed 134. So we're just going to bring our flaps out one stage, uh, F7. You will still need to bring out your gear yourself with this plane and you'll have to adjust your speed yourself but with some other planes which do have auto throttle I believe this software can take over so it can actually do the auto throttle for you as well and adjust that speed but in this plane uh, it's pretty exciting that we've got some ability to come down on the glide slope around about three degrees towards the runway But it's a very gentle descent. So we can see the runway up there. Of course, the Sydney was over in that direction. And Sydney International over there. But uh, we're heading towards this one over here at the moment. YSBK, Sydney Bankstown Airport. And um, it's looking pretty good right now. Now there's two runways to keep in mind. And we're taking the right one. So it's doing 29R when I was looking at the map. If we zoom in a little bit, we can see again it's doing 29R. So we're expecting it to go onto the right hand side if it's online. Now we can do a few other things while we're waiting. We've still got our speed fairly high, 119. So we're going to bring out the gear. Of course, we're not trying to do everything as per real life here. We're just trying to have fun. So I'm bringing out this gear a little bit fast. And at some point we're going to have to call it and take over. So I think we will take over. In fact, I don't want to because I just want to see it get as close as it can and show you. But you can see it's pretty, it's pretty well close. And we could have cancelled that earlier. Your results will vary. Some airports are going to be better than others. 
but you can see it's it's pretty close. It's very close. So we're going to hit off the master. We'll just quickly come over a little bit, bring back the throttle, and we can land. It'll give me my landing feet per minute. I can then let it roll out a little bit, hit the brakes. And uh, we'll release the brakes because, of course, we don't want to come to a complete stop. But, yeah, that is the uh, landing that it's been able to do. It's a pretty impressive little piece of software. come off the runway here and you can see it's still tracking us so if you want to see the map of where you're going you can do that as you're taxiing around we'll come over here towards where the fuel is there's a couple of them it seems and we can get rid of this information for Bankstown now so quite cool. Now, obviously, I would probably recommend cancelling that autopilot a little bit before, but I just wanted to show you um, how it went. And you can also adjust the figures as you're coming down, what altitude you want, etc. So you can decide, okay, I'm going to take over control at this point. But um, very, very cool piece of little software. Good to know about. It is called Flight Share. I'll put a link to it in the description of the video. Enjoy. I hope you found this really helpful and useful. Um, just awesome little piece of software, really good to know about. One more thing I want to mention that it can do is FlightShare can show you all the points of interest in the game. So say we look at the latest UK update, we go up here on the top right, we click on POIs off, and then we go to UK update, and then we zoom in on the map, and we can see all of the points of interest in the UAK update. And then if you want to jump to one of them, you can just hover over it, right click, and you can teleport to the point of interest and your plane's there. That's a really, really helpful way of having a quick look at them all. Um, say we want to go over to the Japan update. So now we'll zoom over here. Here's all the spots. And again, you can just right click on it, teleport to POI, done. Um, we've got the same with the US, so we go over to the US, and we've got all the US ones, and then of course we can change it to just all of them from since the game started, and you can see they all come up with some more then as well. So just a really, really handy way to look at a whole heap of the points of interest in the game. You can now see it's covering many of them as they are scattered around the world. Very, very cool. This is Flight Share, and you can also search the points of interest.